Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. Understand fear as I have. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla back after a year for the third playthrough of Eternal Darkness, and it is Requiem on the GameCube. Hello, what the? I'm I'm trying to follow as I'm preparing here, clicking buttons and peeking from around the back of the laptop because I had to reset the GameCube. I thought this was gonna go thriller way uh, mutation. What is that? It, it feels. Michael Jackson, but it's not Thriller. <laughs> Hello there, everyone in chat. Hello, Zombie Chow. Mayo Hazard. Mutation. Wrote the whole song, or the lyrics to a whole song, which I'm just get. Is that your song? Because I don't recognize the lyrics. Maybe there's a cultural gap, you know, me being like 500 years old and all that, you know. Back in my day, we only had like the tambourine or whatever. Not even the tambourine, I mean the mandolin. You know, the string instrument. No, no, it's it's not yours, it's not... I have no idea, maybe if I heard it, I'd like... I'd remember the tune without knowing the lyrics. Is it something from the 80s? Who, who the hell is Shania Twain? I've never heard of that, that's like... Shania Twain, nah? Doesn't ring a bell. The... Shania, okay. No, it says, oh, Sha, because, yeah, all right. Shania. No, he did not, as far as I know. <laughs> hello, Lyubka. Say hello, Sister Lyubka. Hello, uh, who did I miss? Mother of Hippie. Hello, Mother of Hippie. Sounds like I'm cursing every time I say that. Zdravo, Maiko. So Mayo, tell me, you you streaming uh, Twitch again? So people, chat, tell me please if there if like if you if you feel anything, if you see anything wrong, like skipping speech or something like that, please let me know. I'm getting the dropped frames notice, even though everything's fine. But uh, 
Yeah, we did have internet issues all weekend until like late side Sunday evening. And uh, I, I feel like it's still not up to snuff yet. It, I feel that if I ran towards a person with a chainsaw and swung in their face, I would still somehow miss them. That's the general feeling, general vibe I'm getting here from uh, from today's connection. But it's like everything seems fine, so we're just gonna do it. Fuck it, we'll pretend. And, and like if you if you close your eyes and think real hard, it's all good. You got convinced to stream on Twitch again? Well, fuck yeah! And at the same time, god damn it, now I have to change everything on YouTube. But you know, a little Control F will do it. <laughs> Because I started promoting your uh, YouTube on YouTube. YouTube will come to understanding. YouTube will come to understanding. <laughs> Shit balls. Alright, mutation, I gotta say, you know how to pick them when it comes to emotes. Mayo too. Mayo has the the haha -ha goose I love very much. All right, fair enough. So YouTube's still there for highlights. Zombie Chow, thank you for resubscribing, my brother. You cooling your ass off today? According to my calculations. So I did say, I did uh, did touch on it on Twitch. I did announce it on Twitch. <laughs> oh my God, look at it. The screen is filled with them. Ooh, lovely. It's a one-time emote though, so I guess. How did you get it again, Mayo? Probably a competition of... Bring your goose to work day or something like that. Those as well. Why do some of them... So I did... Oh, I think those are better... Some of them are better TTV, are they? Because I did enable them. And not all of them pop up on the screen. <laughs> what was I going to say? Shit, I was going to say something. But I got distracted by flashy images. Ne right next to, like, uh, right over gory images. We make a good sauce. Ah, okay. Something, yeah, yeah, okay. It's like, if you weren't there, then fuck you. You're never getting it. Unless I copy it and upload it <laughs> to my channel. And then they have to approve it. So yeah, I was going to touch on that. That's right. Uh, schedule update. Slight schedule update. For the time being, we are removing the Saturday morning European Friday evening US streams. Uh, mainly because the people we did those for and with are unavailable for the time being. But also because, well, the Resident Evil Marathon has really dragged on ever since I had added more of a variety to the schedule. Which I'm not objecting in any way. I always wanted to stream as many games as possible, as many wonderful story games along with a lot of outbreak <laughs> and then zero resistance mutation <laughs> but uh, yeah now we have three story streams a uh, week monday tuesday thursday we have uh wednesday is still couch wednesdays we're gonna just try real hard not to change that um and saturday is reserved for outbreak for now so, okay, to honor this, to honor this uh, redeem we just got from Mutation, we're going to silently start Eternal Darkness with me not talking at all, starting for how long was it? It was like 10,000, so it has to be like 10 seconds, I think. 1,000 per second, right? Because that, that sounds like something like li I would put there. Now, I probably fucked myself over and put like Three, three minutes, three minutes. All right, I believe in Joseph that he would never lie about these, like some people would. <laughs> so here we go, starting now. Flesh, bone, bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roybus. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roybus family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. 
Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia, ignorant of so much and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless, their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path. And they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line, and the last hope for humanity. I am coming behind him. Look at this. I came Hello. so fast, his head fell off. Henry Roybus? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legratz of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. <laughs> All right, it's been three minutes. It's like holding my breath, buddy. It's kind of the same. It's easier to hold. <laughs> easier to hold. Hold my breath for that long, really. <laughs> ah, Miss Roybus, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Holy shit, that's quite a change, Joseph. <laughs> How is that gonna tie into turn like this? We'll give our best. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. We got a raid from Sinistubborn. Hello, Sinistubborn. Sinestubborn. Sinistubborn. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm welcome in, Raiders. Welcome. Welcome, Sinistubborn. To what do I owe the pleasure? The only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes I mean, sense. there's no head. To what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Two weeks later. I mean, two weeks later. Well, hello there. What what were you playing, Sinestubborn? Sinestubborn. It sounds different in my head, you know. It's always retro, but retro what? Welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in, everyone. We got a sing mode. And a raid, and a silence, and an upside down, and everything. But, but, is, is that a game, or are you pulling my leg out of its socket? Out of its socket? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> If there's a game called, I mean, if there's a game called Bollywood Movies, I would actually like to see that. <laughs> well, welcome in, Raiders, if you don't know me. I'm Hippie Tesla and I play retro games mostly on actual consoles. No emulation, <laughs> no emulation. Mutation, if you're gonna redeem the sing mode, at least pay for some <laughs> backup singers. Backup singers. <laughs> I need, I want high-pitched backup singers. <laughs> Is that really, Grandpa? I want high-pitched backup singers for when you, for when anyone redeemed this. I just want them to pop up behind me and, you know, start. Because it's not like if just one person doing it, I want the whole, like, I want the whole feel that comes to it. That is... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to see the... I just wanted to see the emoji. The emote. Whatever you call it on the platform. Yeah, it's... For fuck's sake, it's grandpa. Yeah, it's... It's the Texas grandpa. Oh, stream disconnected. It'll be back momentarily. Five warnings. Sheesh. Hoo wee. Wow. Five. I know it has. I got another one. Here we go. Love, you seen that? Is it like, I? it's very confusing. One part is still giving me the timer, the other one, oh, here we go. All right, it's giving me the timer again. So it restarted itself, okay? Love, I think you, I think you kickstarted it, Sash. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, everyone, welcome back. So, like I said at the start of the stream, there I'm just getting uh, drop frame warnings, even though there are no drop frames. It keeps offering me to switch the Twitch server, so it could be the Twitch server issue. I just, if I, if I have to do that, I have to kill the stream, which I'm going to avoid for as long as I can. So, unless it, like, dies completely, I think it'll they'll fix it. It's in their best interest to fix it, you know. So yeah, hopefully hopefully everyone can see in here. If not, like if you like re maybe I should write this. I see people do that. The stream has the stream is back. Please refresh your viewing device slash browser. <laughs> there you go. Maybe I should pin that. But yeah, I was gonna say, Joe, before we were rudely interrupted, that's actual goddamn grandpa from uh, from Texas. Someone made someone made <laughs> someone made it into a cute little gif, which makes it even more brutal. So Cine Stubborn, I'm 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 thinking you actually streamed the uh, actual Bollywood movies. Because that would, that would be it. It is, huh? Yep. <laughs> I gotta click. So the thing is, they're very tiny. So I wouldn't have to do this like an actual grandpa. I uh, I click on the image to open it. But uh, it's I somehow got the pin, pin the message thing. It should be gone. We should be back to normal. So two things I want to mention before we continue with this. Two things that are different than last time. Like all the other uh, retro streams, I've switched back to interlaced full frame rate, full resolution streaming. So at some points where uh, the digital equipment falls out, the sync with the GameCube, you know, you'll see on the stream, it's gonna be a little blurrier for a few seconds, but most people don't notice it. It's only when things are moving. Uh, the big change is that it is full resolution now as like, as God intended on the GameCube. So there should be, it much, should be much easier to read the text, see the screen, 
it and at full frame rate it will be a lot more fluid because this game is very fluid and it's very it's a big shame not to uh not to stream it like, like that the other big thing is you probably notice it's not widescreen i made a big decision uh, about two months ago to not to stream anything uh be before is it seventh gen right xbox 360 ps3 so anything before that I'm not going to stream in widescreen unless that's explicitly how the game was envisioned because most of these games in widescreen they stretch parts of inventory uh, UI etc because there it's like baked in uh, widescreen it's not proper widescreen you know it's some games pretend what well, this one has a very decent widescreen support but then again when it's doing the cutscenes which will be obvious with the first one um, when we're doing that, it just kind of transitions from f uh, from four by three to widescreen, and it's really odd. So we're doing it like we did it in two thousand one. So without further ado, let's get into it. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. If there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be here. Like murder, as if it looks like he was killed by a man. Now this being a third playthrough of a game that's supposed to be played three times in order to get the true ending. We don't have to read and do everything like we did the first time. If, you're, if you want the full story experience, then I refer you to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash HippieTesla. Where you have like the last year's two first two runs. So yeah, that's about that. Now I, as as much as I've played this game for like fifty times, I just gotta remember what to do next first. So I think there was a key tape here, right? Look at the key. Yeah, dresser key. Okay, we're gonna need that later. Look how smooth it is. S buttery smooth game. Hmm. There are no files as of yet, I think. It's just the family tree. The angle sways are gonna look beautiful now. Was there a note here? Nope, she's just staring at it. I guess the clock's supposed to tell us, to give us a clue. Like when you're going back, there should be something that tells you what to do. But maybe not in, not in this realm. Hello, Boundy. How you doing, Boundy? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know why I'm doing a serial jingle. Just go with it. It's what I always do. Should Alex adjust the clock hands? Yes, please. Brrrp. Oddly specific time. Just... <laughs> what time is it? Half Satan o'clock. Is that sound for reality or in the game now? I can't be tripping balls already, right? The bone thingy, alright. Gladius. Arm thyself, fair maiden. There was no notes. I kind of feel like there was notes. Ah, who gives a shit? You don't have to 100% it to do anything. So, here we go. We're getting into it. Whoop! Joe, man, so glad to see you here. Obviously, a, of what was to come. a game that started development on, an, on the N64. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. Are we be, will we be coming to understand from behind him? <laughs> once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose. 
for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. We gotta make this into musical, Joe. Now you gave me an idea. Rest the men, they will need the strength. Make sure they take enough water and are in high spirits. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Let me just switch from Latin to English in one sentence. Mid sentence, even. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs. Or his orders, but if we are to retrieve the artifact, you could totally sing those lines. Be strong and patient. Eternal Darkness, the Oprah. I would go watch the shit out of that shit. See, they're already singing. Sing to us, Pius Augustus. Sing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're back to the qu hippie choir, huh? <laughs> you know, I too, when in the middle of a desert, uh, a few standing stones invite me, I go right in the middle of them, suspecting nothing. Not even questioning the fucking voices coming from the stones, I just walk in the middle of it, dead center. <laughs> Perfectly natural thing to do. Oh, those camera angles. Looks really good. Looks a lot better than the first time, I'm gonna say. Alright, into the dungeon with you, pious Augustus. A ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius's courageous resolve do not, does not buckle. Should Pius claim... Cl Climb down the ladder. That is the only choice he really has. All the other choices are false. Just, just ignore the skeleton on the floor. Go for the Lego. I love this animation for some reason. The way he squints at that brick. Like, oh my god, a brick. A fucking brick in the middle of a temple. Is that the thing really you're focusing on? Or is it supposed to be like he's looking at the zombie? Whoa, ambush. Behead, first behead them, make them a lot easier than enemies when they have no uh, heads. He's down. Woo! Kick the bastards. Down with you. Hey, I said down. That's cheating, that's not down, that's up. And like walking. Look dude, I'm gonna cut that other arm off now. Cause you've been insolent. What you gonna do now, torso boy? Well, I love the combat in this game. Man, I missed it. Didn't play it for a whole fucking year. You know, now that I started streaming some of these story games, whatever I start streaming, I try to start with a fresh save file most often. Because, uh, well, I want to, you know, if I'm playing it for the first time on stream, I want to demonstrate the things, you you know, like unlockables and things that you can only see once in your first playthrough and all that. So a lot of the games that I feel like playing from time to time, like people will scoff now. Resident Evil Zero, especially I want to play a little Leech Hunter, I'm, I keep delaying it because I want to do it on stream. Yeah, it was last uh, Halloween that we did this. And you know what's funny? Ari Marathon was underway already at that time. That's like, I don't know if that's funny or sad, but... Ow. Down. Woohoo! Ow, I'm getting bullied here. Oh. Alright, I guess because I got hit early. Off with his head. Mm. 
That brings them down to what? Two? They don't grow heads, right? No, these are not Chaturga zombies. These are just regular rotten zombies that slowly die. We've had a steady stream of games, Lyubka, so... You know, it feels like something's happening all the time. It's been over a year since I finished Chrono Cross on stream as well, you know? Am I getting called by the stones again? Do I have the map even? Yeah, I do. There's, there's no button for the map. You just gotta open it. That's right. All right. <laughs> Chichurga, yeah. Wait, like, Ulioth is my, at least by voice, my favorite ancient. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, Ulioth is voiced by uh, Richard Doyle, who also voices uh, Mobius in, in the Legacy of Cain games. No, wait, Mo uh, sorry, Pius is voiced by him. Pius is voiced by him. Uh, Richard Doyle is another guy. He who voices Uliot. Yeah, my bad. But yeah, when Pius speaks, you'll you'll hear uh, Mobius inside him, which saying out loud kind of sound, sounds weirder than it did in my head. He did not eat him though. Woo! All right, one more one more arm left, sir. Your right arm, please. Very efficient warrior. For someone who starts without the gun, Pius really picks up the slack. Yeah, well, Silicon Knights developed this, and Silicon Knights also developed the first Blood Omen game, the first one in the Legacy of Kane series. So, kind of makes sense. They probably had ties, and because uh, Raziel's voice actor, um, Michael Bell, is also here. A couple of them are, really. We got another raid from Sexy Wesky this time, landing from the, I'm gonna guess from the Sons of Forest, the Forestal Sons, the New Age Hippies. <laughs> Resident Evil 4, was it the remake though, Wesky? Hopefully no undead here. Nope. So this is an important detail I did mention last time. The the combat tutorial, you actually destroy... See, it says Pius Augustus at the bottom. It's his own statue. And, uh, and he gets to destroy it. And later in the hall of the tome, that's going to be what that statue is going to look like. Headless and armless. Destroying his own destiny by fulfilling it. That's so fucked up. Hello, Jason. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Eternal Darkness. Where we fight zombies eternally. Whoa. Easy there, boy. Eternal armless. Okay, gotta get the other arm. There you go. That one's down. Oh shit, you can... It's hard to hit him in this narrow hallway, but there we go. He's down. Woo! Please down. Alright, there you go. Alright, that's it. I think there's that's all of them here. Just three, huh? A button. How's everyone doing there?
That's it. Huh, I don't remember the wooden things. How many? No matter how many times I played this, uh, there's always something I don't quite remember. All right, since it's the, since this is the third playthrough, and the final one, so Chaturga and uh, Zelothat's uh, artifacts are missing because we did we we dealt with those in alternate timelines. So this is basically the third possible timeline, and. We need to do all three to see the full ending, like I said. So here we go. The, the only one that's left. We can't even... We can only examine them, right? Bears no artifact. Whether one... Whether one ever there... Whether one was ever there or not, Pius cannot tell. Claim it. My god, the GameCube. This is one of the... I said this already last year, but one of the least graphically least impressive games on the GameCube. And it still looks pretty good even today. I think there's... Like, like the having stable frame rate really goes a long way. You know, over graphical effects and all that. Eons have passed since then, and I have learned much. All at once, I understood. The forces of the multiverse all made sense under the transcending power of Ulyoth. No mountain too high, no city too far. Face me, and you shall surely perish. It's like reading a goth kid's journal, isn't it? Diary. Where's she looking at? Oh yeah, there's another page. We go straight into the next one. There's nothing else left, right? Binding of the corpse god. Here we go. The first few chapters just flow. Nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Thy time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos, and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. Our master has planned many millennia for this day. Is she opening her mouth? It is the true chaos of all things. Or just like reading inside her. You now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh, flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Mount Turok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, the chaos and damn beast. Damn, easy with the curse words, dude. Keep it PG. You have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. He could have literally cursed him with May the Rats Eat Your Eyes. A perfect curse word for Mantarog. They're right there, like ripe for eating. That's gotta hurt, like just dropping stones on him. <sighs> Not even these mythical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Like I said, uh, uh, well, not just goth, just like a teenage diary. There you go. Fantastic and higher of purpose. Well, here we go. Uh, there's left and right. One of them has 
temporarily something. Can't change that. Oh, that's a new one. Going to the right first, huh? You can just go around them. She's pretty stealthy and quick on her feet. So I went the opposite way that I normally do. I want to see what's going to happen. And All right, we, we see what's going to happen. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character to pulse green. Beware, sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. All right, sanity. Well, they're easy to kill. All right, they recover sanity, good, but so you get the tutorial on that side. That's what's different. So this is night. So I gotta put up, put out all of them, huh? I will try. I will. Um, that's something I should probably mention. I will go towards the lower sanity spectrum just so we could get more sanity effects. That's always fun. It's like riding a bicycle, really. I, for a second there, I thought, you know, oh my god, will I be able to play this fast? And, you know, like re reliable. It's almost like I'm selling it to someone. <laughs> but yeah, it's like riding a bike. Tippy toes, just go on your tippy toes. Like riding a nightmare, yeah. <laughs> it is like riding a nightmare, or like being ridden by a nightmare, I guess. Uh, what about this one? Oh yeah, it just shows me how to do the rest of them. All right, so let's see how it goes this one. <laughs> Sash, what is up with you and dad jokes as of lately? That's weird. She usually doesn't doesn't do those. It's my job. Taking my job. Now you can close it. I don't give a shit. Right? So we get temporarily heal. Temporarily? Temporary heals. Basically, because there's like the magic still hasn't been uh, introduced into the game, we have 10 charges of uh, the healing spell inside the necklace. So, you know, you're not really doing magic, it just happens. Sun, that's like. Okay, that's uh, sunset. Yeah, alright, that's good. That's what we want. Oh, they're gonna come back to life later then, huh? So instead of. So instead of her activating the trap here, which would activate the blade, she did it back there. Interesting. See, I I don't think I ever tried doing it backwards. It actually pays off doing it like this. What, again? We've been through this. No, not a Chaturga zombie. I'm not ready for this. Die, beast. Give me thy arm. Thine arm? I don't know, I'm not in Europe in medieval times. I just want to slice you. Will you please die? Jesus Christ, there's strength. I'll have to finish him so he doesn't come back. His head is back. Man, they're resilient. Hacha. Yeah, that... If I left him without the finisher, he would have come back to life at least once more. So this is the midday, right? Yeah. Daytime. 
Now you gotta step on it, right? Don't take that yet. I think I want to put this. Wait. Pretty sure I want to put that back there. So let's try that. Okay, from this side, we can enter without triggering the traps. But I don't think I can exit again. So we're back to the first room I went into. In case you didn't get that. Come on. Tippy toes. Woo! The GameCube analog stick is by far my favorite still. Oh, it did close from there. So there's nothing we can... Oh, wait. No, you can't do anything. All right. Unless, again, nah, you can't do anything. <laughs> Shit. Okay. They didn't do anything. Nobody saw that or heard it or smelt it if it released a smell. Whatever happened to Wesky? I didn't see him. I wouldn't be uh, surprised if he's having uh, issues connecting to the stream. Woo! That was close. Ooh, more traps. Wait, I do have a map, don't I? Yeah, there you go. So, the east is the entrance. Good to know. They will be back. I'm pretty sure these guys will all right. Yeah, there you go. I was just talking about you dudes. What's my sanity? I'll live. Lower sanity, please. You can almost call it insanity. Ha 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 ha. Gotta use it. What does that do? It just... Like, does that even have a purpose, though? I'm not sure. Because I could have just gotten Thank out, right? Thank you. Oh, so I could do the other sun thing. I get it, I get it. Hello, Gammy. Welcome, Gamut. How you doing, Gamuchio? Hello, Phantasma. I am getting used to calling you by your new name. How you doing, Fanta? Hello, Outbreak Crew. Hola, escuchame. Okay, so, yeah, that reminds me. We've talked about it. Sasha and I have talked about it a few times, and... Uh, we think it's time to introduce, uh, you know, uh, a Spinglish, uh, a Spinglish redeem. So, like, I have to talk with the broken Spanish English, because we have French, we have Arnold, which is basically it's not German, but it's like Arnold branch of Austrian. <laughs> you know, why not have Spanish? Since I love the language so much, maybe even some Ital Italian. I was gonna say Italian, Italian. We call it the Giuseppe. <laughs> it's a me, Giuseppe. Hello, comrade. <laughs> Gamut, how you doing, man? I'm great, Teste. I'm playing one of my all-time favorites. Getting the blue gun. Whee! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does not. Perdoname would be it. <laughs> but, you know, it, there, you can see the roots in languages. Oh, shit, we gotta protect this guy. He obviously wasn't trained to protect against magical zombies that can explode, no less, so I better hurry. Alright, get their attention. Blow him up, so to speak. Woo, 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 run, run, run. And then, oh, just don't step on that thing, guys. Oh, my sword's broken. That's right, now I gotta kill them with... Yeah, all right, let's get them over here. There you go. That'll help. In the face. All right. Finish him. Uh, no, keep sanity low because we want to see shit happen. 
Or actually, I don't know, if they get up and try to kill him, maybe kill these two specifically. No, oh, they're dying, alright. As long as they die completely. She's starting to trip balls, which is what we wanted. He's gonna... Oh, a broken weapon. Didn't I drop it here when I fell in? Yeah, there you go. How did she break the sword like that? I, f I could understand if it broke in two. But th this way is just ridiculous. Who's Gur? <laughs> Kneel to the power of Gur. I was gonna say when the roots of the languages are, you know, shared um, gamut, then it's like, you know, it. I th I think in Latin it was something like, like pardon, but then in French it definitely went, you know, pardon, because Eng English is mostly French. It seeped over there. It's in it's in Spanish as perdona me. Even we here say we say pardon. As one of the, you know, apologizing. I wonder how soon I'm gonna start tripping balls. Get ready, guys. If you don't know what's going on in this game, you got uh, you got here pretty early. So aside from killing zombies, we also have a sanity system, which I'm trying to deplete to get uh, some really wacky effects, which are gonna trip try to trip us out wait I guess it depends how you look at it yeah skeletal demon befriending the ancient mirror people now it's gonna look pretty cool I know it's not as widescreen as last time but it's it's sharper a lot sharper and smoother or you can just that was me going all like cinematic on it <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Gamut. Exactly. That's it. Just keep going down the hole. There's nothing... I don't think there's anything to find until the cutscene. When we when Solid Snake speaks. So, see how the angle is kind of crooked? That's because of low sanity, which is what we're trying to accomplish. The weird psychedelic chanting is also because of low sanity. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful with those. Oh no, the poison darts too. Run! Alright. I don't know what's gonna start killing me and the pressure plates are getting harder and harder to see. No, no, she's tripping balls. She's attacking herself. I swear they tend to do that mostly in like very tight spots where they shouldn't do it. But well, we're getting there. Oh, they're fighting each other. Zelothath versus uh, Uliot zombies. Uliot zombies use magic. So... They should blow up though at one point. Come on guys, you can do it. Oh shit. Did it kill me? No, but I am gonna do this slight return and definitely gonna heal the shockwave the shockwave can really be hard from a distance how much health is that mm, still not impressive but you know what it'll work the mural depicts one of the ancient Khmer deities being tortured and killed by a skeletal demon well who could that demon be I wonder. The deity looks like a thorn, like a giant thorn tentacle monster. It's Mantorok. Spoilers. Is it Solid Snake time, I think? Yeah, it is. Where is... Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop. Don't go near it. 
That's uh, David Hayter, by the way, Solid Snake's voice actor. A very weird, a very weird uh, so, role to give him. You are reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Atrolock. Reduced. So what did he eat before? He wasn't lying, that's true, actually. But can you really you kill a corpse thee, god? Young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. He ain't dead if he's eating. Get your facts together, man. Alright, somebody is dead. Oh, she's not dead yet. You are one of the chosen many. Flesh that's David Hayter? It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. She's dying. <laughs> she's, she's very dramatic there. In return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dust. Or is that Anthony? No, that's that's a guard. He looks kind of like Anthony from the next chapter. The essence of the corpse guard. The summit is a source of great power. From those people... You must defend it, lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left. Brightness? What about contrast? Guard it well. Also, we're doing 60 hertz here. Do we need the tint as well? Or is it just like gonna be PAL? Better colors, but hey, come back. I want answers, man. What an asshole. Hi, Mentorok. A metal staff. Ah. Right, we need, we do need a metal staff. Calm down, Mantarok, my boy. Your time is yet to come. I know there's a... She's like, what? I can't believe what I'm seeing here, being as a statue and whatnot. There we go. There it is. Mantarok, the corpse god. It's pretty big fella. Oh, we can't go there now. Yeah, I gotta go back. That's right. That's right. Be right back there. Don't pop a zit or something out of those eyes. When I was younger, I was never sure if those, like, you know, playing on a CRT, I wasn't sure if those are supposed to be eyes or zits. She's tired. <sighs> we have a stamina system here, too. But if you walk, it doesn't count. It's like, re regenerate slowly. Oh, shit, more zombies. We need them down on the ground without... We can't let them start chiming, because that's going to hurt me a lot. If they start going bong, that's not good. All right. They're not. Sanity is... Wow. It's not as low as I hoped it'd be. I think the cutscene restored my sanity. So where's the thing for the... There should be a slot somewhere to insert... Oh, the camera's tripping balls hard. Wasn't back there, like, two rooms before? Do I have to go through the trap? Yeah, probably that's exactly what they want from me. Easy does it, tippy toes. Some of them you can't go around, so... Alright, let, let them step on it. All right, they're gonna kill themselves. That's good for me. You can just hear the killing sound. Ooh, not good. All right, one one more died. Woo! Shit. Alright, it's not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. Don't get hit. It's just a poison dart. You've seen worse. Oh, you gotta step on it. But it's not that bad. It's still going. Alright, it's gotta be here. I am fairly sure it's here. Is it uh, sanity effect time? Alright, the sanity's out. 
completely. So game's gonna start becoming interesting. More interesting than it already was. Just don't let their heads survive because that's how they sing. And when they sing, they blow up. And when they blow up, it hurts, man. Alright, maybe get some sanity back. Like, slight amount like that. And one more. There you go. Just so it doesn't start draining my health completely. I'll even... I'm even gonna heal. Charge! Mmm. That's nice HP you got there. There's the slot for the stuff. Metal stuff. You can look around like in Resident Evil and examine shit. I mean, Ari was one of the biggest influences on this as far as I know. As far as my eyes tell me. And with the loading speed, you know, data access speed of GameCube, I think it's a great platform to have this game on. Something happening? I I'm expecting a sanity effect. It looks like it's gonna happen, but... When I stop e expecting, that's what it's gonna happen. Oh, this is taking too long. Aha! Uh -huh. My dear Alex, I will always be at your side. There are times when insanity takes hold, and nothing seems right. Could you have eyeballs, Grandpa? Because that's like a really creepy way to show to your... Oh man, they have some unique cries. So, she just had a, she just had a hallucination of a woman reading a story about her a thousand years in the future. That's... I love that shit. But... I don't want to forget, starting with Joseph here. I do like to space them out a little. It's very nice having you here, Joe. And having you as a friend, of course. And not just in my head. Which one do I want to step on? I'm going to go with this one. It just looks like it's going to hurt less. Nothing, all right. Good, good, good. The warped perspective does not help. Alright, cool. Just ignore everything, run out on the second on the other side. Huh. I expected more shit fuckery. I guess not. You gotta have probably zero sanity here to go get to that. It is a nice change of angle though. When uh, when they get insane. Okay, okay, okay. I will. She's calming herself down. But there's no help, Elia. You've been chosen. You must serve the protection against the eternal darkness. Here we go. Well, too bad. We ended it with zero sanity and barely any sanity effects. Fool. You should have run. Well, Stand guys, make down. up your mind. Where is the essence of Mantarok? Well, Mobius, had you paid attention in Soul Reaver 2, you would have known. Ooh. Where they're Zelthath, aren't they? I will not ask again, child. No, they should be Uliot, yeah. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. Did you just blue ball her? Nice mugshot. All right, chapter two done. These two are like super short obviously i think the first five are short and then then the game just goes into overdrive then it's like oh you like that here's some more of that like a fucking amazingly large levels each level is covers the surface of one resident evil game 
So what do you want me to do here? Sunrise, huh? Sunrise. There you go. Ah, just what I was looking for. Another page. Suspicions of conspiracy. Hello, Dirty, my sister. How you doing? <gasps> Uliot's voice coming. I'll be right back, Dirty, mentally. Uliot's voice is too sexy to miss. Thy presence is long missed, my liege. The universe is a yawning chasm filled with emptiness and the puerile meanderings of sentience. Why should you deserve special consideration within it, Augustus, above all else? I am your servant, my lord. As always, Shut up. that and nothing more. Yes, that and nothing more. What revelations do you bring me? My meditations reveal a flaw in our plan. Our plan, Augustus? Mantarok is a shadow ebbing in the light of our glory. It and the others are slow, weak, bound by the realm of the universe. Unable to unite to fight a common foe, they will fall one by one. Unfortunately, this is beyond your understanding. You're too dumb. Sorry. The binding of Mantarok will seal their fate as its power over us is diminished. Such an irony that the Keeper itself be imprisoned within the walls of its own magic. But what of its essence? Is that not the core of its remaining power? Upon my seeping into the corporeal world, I will be the dominant over all, Mantarok included. Your worries are unfounded. You must turn your attention to Charlemagne the Frank. His continued presence within the world is far more serious to our cause. As you wish, Master. He will be dead before the week is out. But please, don't do it on a weekend. I'm trying to chill out on the weekend, you know. Because of all the non-existence and everything. How you doing, Dirty? Welcome, Dirty. My long-lost sister. Lupka, can we get a shout-out for Dirty? For Ask Dirty. It's like Dirty Ask. Here we go, one of the... One default shout-out shout coming up. And now one uh, one, one, one special shout-out, please. Mods, mod, 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 mod administrators. <laughs> What's up, Dirty? What you doing? You like Eternal Darkness, huh? I love this game. It's my mission to play it once every year. At least once every year around Halloween. This year we're a little late because... Uh, because, well, I was doing my graduation shit. So I was really busy with that. Should have done it last Thursday, uh, Tuesday. But just as I was finishing my uh, grad work... Uh, practical work I realized I messed up the schematic at step one had to restart everything and sadly we didn't do uh, we didn't do the we didn't start it last week but you know it's never too late for eternal darkness slayers X terminal aftermath vengeance of the slayer thank you gammy thank you is that a fighting game dirty I'm gonna like if I were asked to bet Hopefully no one will ask me that because like I think it's a waste of money. But if I were asked to bet, I would bet that's a fighting game. Let's go kill us uh, research, a blobby FPS. The endeavors of mankind, a mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows, <laughs> the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Good thing I don't Under bet. The auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank. The new Holy Roman Empire. It just sounds like a fighting game, you know? And I've seen you play fighting games I've never heard of, so, you know. Other than Guilty Gear, of course. Let's do some Latin now, because just to remind us, Latin was spoken then. Et Imperatorum Nostrum, Carolum Magnum Francum, deliver this to our Lord and Emperor. I have a different voice when I speak English. They are words for his eyes only. I don't know why my voice is so much wimpier like this, but hey, this is my voice now. <laughs> That's a nice static forest you got there. Yeah, anime fighter, exactly, yeah. Woo! As soon as Charlemagne here looks at the 
obviously a spell scroll. Well, not Charlemagne. Charlemagne's messenger. What sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then. Now let me bring it right to him. <laughs> him of this <laughs> Look at this cursed scroll for you, Charlemagne. I'm just gonna wave with it in front of your face. Hopefully, it's not gonna do anything. Man, these camera angles in this game are just amazing. Oh. Visiting chamber, alright? Perhaps out of fear. Listen to the voices. Can you hear that? It's like in Silent Hill 3. I like that effect when when audio when so much was put so much effort was put in audio in these old games. Uh, it sounds properly like someone's talking on the other side of the door. Aha, uh -huh, so one of the monks fell from the tower. That's right, I remember now. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look into it. I'm sure nothing's gonna change once I do that. Funeral casket. It is not properly sealed. Why would you open the casket like a random casket? Oh my God! What is oh, it? What this devil's work. We should get out of here. <laughs> I love that last one. We have feared the most. This poor man. You couldn't just move the lid. Yeah, we know it's a conspiracy, but still. Look how his body has been defiled. Just look at it, it will traumatize you even more. From inside him. Aha. Here, burst out for your from inside him, gamut. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Wait, so, like... Scramasax. Sounds disgusting when you say it out loud. Everybody's left, like, here's a sword, random kid. Go find Charlemagne. Go find our emperor with the curse you're carrying. <laughs> uh, we have good ideas here, yes. I think there's a torch somewhere I can pick up. But not here. It's gonna be later. We're gonna need the torch though. The, my best friend. I can't leave the church, right? I'm about to enter the hole of the tomb. Here we go. First entrance to the hole. Here we go. So what I was saying in the first chapter, Pius Augustus, it's literally, yeah, it's not even like, so I said armless and headless, but it's also torsoless, the parts we destroyed in the tutorial, like I said, I, just give me the chills. His destiny, he's destroying his own destiny by being, by fulfilling it. It's such a fucking mind, mind warp. So, you know, he just made himself what he is. Pious, I mean. Elia? Only people who died for the tome will end up here, so... Nice screaming faces you got there, hand. Cradle in what appears to be a leathery hand lies in... Can I read? Please stop screaming. A mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed very loudly, if I might add. Should Antony claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness, he has just make it shut up. Alright, that's. I'm just gonna ignore that. Keep going. Sure, it's okay. Now, for those of you who don't know, Antony's been cursed by the curse that's been. Uh, Intended for Charlemagne, and he's slowly zombifying as you progress through his chapter. So, like every few steps, he becomes a little more and more a zombie. A blue urn. Let's examine it. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Strange sigil on the side. Wait. Oh, you can't even turn it. Oh, I gotta use it. That's right. While fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into fragments as it hits the floor. Which is excellent 
lore detail. I said he's he is zombifying. He's slowly losing feel in his arms and legs, you know, everywhere. And uh, I I just love those little details they incorporate into the story. There we go. A bloke, broke, broken, a broken blue urn, and a magical urn. Our first uh, urn, <laughs> a rune, a magical rune. First magical rune to make spells. But we can't make shit now, so uh, we need more runes. More runes are needed indeed. Nothing there. Ah, but a summoning circle will do just good. A mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desk. This is the early version of the Desperate Times medallion. <laughs> Would you pronounce the Rooney runes? <laughs> Or runny runes. Rooney, I guess, because there's only one end. A circle of power. Alright. Mostly books of religious nature. Nothing here. Oh, there's one book. There we go. Rooney. Okay, yeah. Like the actor. Something Rooney. Something Rooney that's not George Clooney. Run, Anthony. Oh, wait, I didn't save once. So uh, I think it's this is a good time to make a first save of the... Yeah, I, I'm sure. There you go. All three. All three. Can I get the torch, please? Is that the torch for me? No. I guess it'll be down the hole. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I bothered you. I'm just gonna uh, equip my sword, I guess. And charge! Uh, Anthony really works with that voice. I said charge, sir! Oh, he's gonna regrow, is he? Charge! I said charge, motherfucker! Would you please let me char? He's got a little buddy there. All right, little buddy. Can we can we hurry this along, please? Wow, that's one tough zombie. All right, let's uh, let's not let him regrow limbs. Please die. I just want you dead. Finally, Jesus Christ. You down. I just I just placed him down on the floor. You wanna come back? Gotta kill this guy though. To get the rune. And stay down this time, please. Should should I already have the 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 torch I can't remember I think it's gonna be after the or maybe the priest is gonna give it to me let's leave him there back back there we go that's how you get the torch back I say demons so Mantarok <laughs> that's right oh my god I love that you speak my language Boundy. Uh, Mantor so Mantorok zombies, because of the binding of Mantorok we saw there in the previous chapter, which was what, the year 1200 something, so he is weakening slowly, he's the only one who can keep the other three elder gods or whatever they are, elders, ancients in check, but he is weakened, so his zombies are shambly little rotten bits, and they're the only ones you can just insta-kill with a torch, they just hit him once, there it is, they're done. They'll just burn. You don't get your sanity back, but we don't want no sanity in this run. We want the camera to go like this. So, you know, because that's how real men play. That's how, that's how manly men play. Isn't that right, Gamut? Grateful for his life, yada, 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 happened, carrying, sacred urn, found, confronted, uh, dropped, uh, returned, with thanks. Yeah, thank you. Sword. Thank you. Wow, useful. So demonic bishop is our new enemy. Gotta get all the pieces. 
Yeah, alright, we can mix them, but what's the point when we don't have the spell? Two thirds. Three thirds. Now we just need to find, wait for the super glue to be invented and, uh, what do you call it in English? Not super glue, it's something else. <laughs> do not be a girly man, come on. You have to be a manly man. All right. We don't have the runes. Yeah, he's carrying the final rune. Sanity system is amazing. I love it. This game makes it... It makes this game really stand out. Get to the chopper. Come on. I'm trying to save you here. Now let's make some magic. New spell. Wait, we do have... We should have the thing, right? The runes. The codex. How do you use the codex? Did I pick it up? It was there on the floor. No, I did. So it just tells you what the spell is. Okay, okay then. New spells. Uh, any of them? Alright. Well, wasn't I supposed to find the codex for that to get it translated? Oh, it's probably gonna be here. I bet it's gonna be right here. A little more zombifying. Oh, it's time. Come on, come on, Anthony. I'm trying to help you stop zombifying, you bastard. Blah, blah, blah. Blah. I mean, blah, blah, blah. dance for me, puppet. Come on. Oh no, he's gonna blow. He's gonna blow hard. Oh my god, he blew. Never mind me, little zombie. I will just go on my way. I'll head I'll head on. It's filled with the blood of my enemies. Cause I am a manly man. <laughs> a disturbing rendition of a monstrous devil. It is contorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is this draining into the pool, trickling from a scum encrusted spout? This sounds like a monologue from Conan the Barbarian. And if you do not do this for me, then to hell with you. A slab of etched stone sits on the pedestal. Right? One more. I will need one more ingredient. It's a nice tapestry. But tapestries are for girly men. I will not have it here. A burnt tapestry. Manly men do not use tapestries. They use their own arms to punch the life out of their enemies. Burn. Come on, burn faster. I'm trying to save the world here. <laughs> a very stealthy. Come on here, page. You, you, you shambling corpse of a priest. Come here. I'm trying to kill you here. Do I dare look into this? And to walk. This allows the player to cast spells that have been found or researched or punched into existence. Alright, I know how to use the spell system game. I'm playing for the third fucking time only on this save. That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus the na is the nature of the enchant item magic. Why I do that with my fists alone? <laughs> That's one of my all-time favorite Arnold quotes mutation. That, that, exactly that one. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Sully. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. <clears throat> kill you last. Yeah. <laughs> but like that moment, that just, I remember as a child, me, maybe five years old, watching that. Watching Arnold hold him by the foot and dropping him, uh, <laughs> dropping him uh, down in down the ravine or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did say that. I lied. <laughs> uh, they'll never grow old. All right, what are we doing? Uh, spells can be cast. Blah blah blah. All right, so I do I need to? I need to. All right, let's say a repair. Uh, go right. It goes the right way. Get it? Alright. Filled red urn. 
Deep Red Shellac, giving it the sheen of a bloody heart recently torn from its host body. Now they are talking now they are talking the Arnold language. This is how you make a game. More bloody hearts recently torn from the host body. There's a strange sigil on its side. Now this is boring. This is I've been elected to lead, not to read, so I will just step back. Oh no, they're making me read again. Alright, alright, I get it. So now, we gotta fix these urns. Oh, we start with a Chaturga urn. Oh god, it's gonna make it... We're gonna have power from the start at least, so... Uh, no, wait. Spell, and then... But now, we gotta fill them. Reading is not for manly men, it is for girly men only. That's why it's called a reading and not man. Makes perfect sense if you think about it. Arnold Smart. Green urn filled, alright. Dip it in the liquor. Oh, it sounds like he pissed into it, isn't it? Dunking the urn into the foul smelling fountain, it becomes filled with to the brim. With rank fluid, it is a lot heavier now and rifle with feta. Just like Arnold after a good day's exercise. Yeah. <laughs> rank fluid, yeah. Alright. Puzzle be solved. Do I have three codexes yet though? I should, right? Runes. They should have names. Oh yeah, they do. Project item. Alright. Here we go. Inventory. Uh, red urn. Blue urn. No, I mean green urn. Blue urn and red urn. Together they make the RGB urn. Because I couldn't just push the fucking table onto it. You know, that would be too much work. It has to be exactly the urns or my own weight. Since I can't leave myself there. Water spirit. I guess that was supposed to be a a tip. Why not put anything? You're trying to save the world, not fuck around. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. This is like, he's just being careful. How deep in are we? All right. We'll have to kill some shit. So, you have come to return my book. Very well then. For your efforts, I promise a quick and merciful... I think we gotta play Fahrenheit this year. This just reminds me of that. Wait, really? Quick and merciful? Because this looks just kind of like the opposite of that, dude. I'm going with the two-edged sword because range... Range, bitch. Oh my god, he's a guardian, obviously, because he's draining my health. Better put them all down. Hiya! One arm, two arm. Can I not kill them? Can I not finish them? I wonder. I'll just pick up the bishop's key. Bye, bishop. I'll keep my low sanity, thank you very much. Because I want the game to trip balls. Alright guys, you just stay down, okay? Don't go anywhere. Oh, never mind, they're going. Shrine to a god that bespeaks of an ancient evil that graced the earth before mankind walked its valleys. The sounds. Wait, I think it's time. Oh no, my zombification. I totally forgot to take the antidote. Oh. It's very happy for a zombified dude. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Burn, burn. Why is Mantorok sending dudes after me, though? That makes no sense. Maybe just a little poke in the heart here. Because I feel like it's going to be warranted. Oh. Die, please. So uh, just so that we're not at the most minimal sanity, because then health starts getting drained. Alright, it's time for these little fuckers, trappers. 
I think the first one has to catch you, right? Or though, is there anything I can do? No, I could kind of walk past it slowly, very slowly. Just don't touch it. I think it will work. But I think the first one's supposed to trap you just so you can see the trapper dimension. If you play dumb, nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna touch it. Because <laughs> we'll be done with that part then. Where sanity meets insanity. The trapper dimension. It's like, they say it like it's gonna be this huge thing. The trapper dimension. You might die. But it's... This is it. I'm just gonna walk out of here. No harm done. This is how we play the game now. Fixed to the side. Hi, master. It looks kind of like Igor. Oh no, I'm getting smaller. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, I'm gonna be tiny. No. Help me. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense a sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be a trouble. Sneak, you say? Yes, I'm very good at sneak. <laughs> Baby Anthony, let me out. Yelp. Oh my god, I'm walking on the ceiling. How did this happen? What the shit is going on? Wait, I'm not little anymore. I mean, uh, um, what the hell is going on? Uh, this can't be happening. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. No, oh, I said burn, baby, burn. What? What? Which part did you not understand? Stop flailing your arms. Die with dignity. Maybe just a pinch, huh? Because three of them really take some sanity away. Gotta keep it low, but not too low. Hi, Master. It's Igor. Igor wants to help. What's the bishop's key again? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, to the bishop's room. Where? You gonna talk to me, dude? Oh. Nah, he's not aware of anything happening. Just like... Sitting there. Get the fuck out of the church. Are you an idiot? Oh no, my final zombie days. Here we go. Man, he's rotten really fast. Oh, they're still dying there. Look, I'm one of them now. Ah, Igor wants to escape. What's my health like? It's gonna be... Uh, I'm gonna need some sanity for what's up ahead, so... Uh, no, wait, I do want the torch. It's pretty good against this spe specific zombie. Oh shit, did I over... Oh! Oh no, we broke the game. Okay, we'll have to restart. Really happening. The thing is, you'll never know what's a glitch and what's an actual sanity effect. Maybe, bet, maybe also make a save game. You can save wherever in this game, but because I'm used to games that have, like horror games that have actual save points, or like, what's the word? Um, consumable save items, I never remember to actually save. It's a horror. Isn't it? Right? It's supposed to be, yeah, the introduction of a horror. Look at the Uliot horror. So like jellyfish like the zombies are the only actual undead in Uliot's army everything else is some kind of Lovecraftian alien Don't be close when it's sparking Oh wow, that was super easy barely an inconvenience Sanity trickling away. He's dead. 
He's dead, Jim. Oh, gotta help Charlemagne. 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 Oh my god, I need my torch. Die, beasts. Ow. Move, you peasants. I need to protect Charlemagne. You can still hear them inside, huh? Damn, it was graphic. You can see his eyeballs and all. Much better when it's not widescreen. You are a fool for trying to save him, Anthony. That's Colonel Campbell from Metal Gear Solid. Many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Ulya. Hi there. Little xenomorph creature. They're like the next step of xenomorph evolution. Maybe they're, they're, they're ancient descendants. You never know. You can't tell in this game. I, we do know they're aliens, basically. Basically, yeah. The fuck am I reading here, Grandpa? What kind of books did you leave to your granddaughter? All right. Uh, so now we know how to do things. Second floor key. Old and worn. Key to the dresser. There's nothing else left here for now, I think. You can see the cathedral and all these things. But like I said, whoever wants the full story uh, experience with all the text read and all that, the very first playthrough is on YouTube. Who is it? Where we did read everything. There's no point to do it every time, so... I think it's time to go to the second floor, yeah. Who is it? Okay, it's broken. But now we fix it. I fix it! I love how whatever she reads in these stories from the from the Tome of Eternal Darkness, she can immediately apply, you know. Because she learned it. And, you know, she knows how to do this spell. She knows the runes. She just read about it in the story. Oh, yeah, this one. So this one, th this picture, this painting will change a lot depending on how far into the story we, we went. Weird, weird shit right there. No. The sounds from the cathedral, but not yet. We gotta visit in another era. Uh, weak heart, don't look. That's there just to give you the heebie-jeebies. Page from the Journal of Maximilian Roivas. Everything, everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadow, shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. It was obviously he wasn't good. Is that blood or poop in the toilet? I gotta say, it's a lot easier to see shit. I mean, I, I, I did say it a couple times, but I'm still... Uh, will you please either go get in or get out, man? Just stop banging on the door like a maniac. These ghosts. I think this is where I want to be, right? Yeah, it is. These games weren't really made for widescreen, so uh, when you do when you do switch them to widescreen mode, all they do is just they just stretch basically the image, so it it always loses quality. And when I say these games, I'm talking like pre-generation seven game, the gift of forever. 
All right, that's the first next one. That's right. All right, here we go. Gift of Forever commencing. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Nice. Love these uh, transitions. I have you for years. Yet you ignore all my advances. You dominate my dreams, and I can think of nothing else. I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me. My life has become a waking dream, Karim. The rhymes. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure. So precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point well, I can think of nothing else. Promise, if I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you. I forgot to bring water. Shit. Warman dumb enough to just walk inside this magical circle of stones another perfectly natural reaction just go inside the stones they're calling you I'm sure nothing bad will happen oh hello zombies zambonis oh, they're good they're, they're not gonna attack they're really good just make sure there's nothing I don't think there's anything to pick up in the first chamber but This isn't even the same one where, um, the same room where Pius entered, right? If you pay attention to the map, you can actually see the rooms repeat throughout ages, but the monuments change. You know, because of the passage of times, people pass and whatnot. Anthony died for the tomb got a statue like lazily made statue but you know he's got a statue at least he's got one i can't say the same for myself i mean me as hippie not not uh kareem here all the knowledge floods back into his mind all right i guess we're doing this it's a baby zombie it's a papa zombie it's a mama zombie. Give me your arms, arms. Oh, they can. We can make him slap each other too if we really want to be sadistic. Finish him. How's my sanity? It's good. We want to go lower. Though it w it does make me sad. I love this track a lot. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that, mods. Really saves some arm time for me. <laughs> because this is really hard. Pushing buttons. What does the map say? Okay, we can see what it says. 
No, no singing zombies today. Thank you very much. You too. Don't need arms to sing. I have to finish him so they don't come back. At least the big guy. Not so worried about this little guys, but... Because once they come back, they can really do a lot of damage. Woo! Oh, you fucker. I love you, Joe. <laughs> well, well... Okay, I guess I'll have to get into some st stabbing. What's the aim button now? That's the aim button. Alright, here we go. Have you ever prayed... Prayed? Have you ever played GameCube backwards? Because if not... Now's the right time. What's the run button? That's the run button. Map. Should be ladder and then more down the street, right? No? No, not more? <laughs> There's nothing at the, the end. There's a cave-in, right? Oh, come on. It's hard to press the, the, the mobile trigger. Maybe with the pinky? Hello, enemies? Shrine, alright. Do I need to step on it? Oh yeah, I will need to put something on it, right? But not that way. Dash way. Heavy for its size, alright. Gonna need more of those, I think. Yep, three in total, okay. So have I missed something? Oh no, I gotta I gotta approach it, that's right. Once I approach it. <laughs> Joe, you scum. Because I have the correct rune, that's right. If I didn't kill the guy below, it does make you Oh the the walls are bleeding, that's never a good sign for architecture. <laughs> After all the years of playing games, I gotta look at my controller to see where it wears each button. Don't get up, please. I'm very handicapped right now. If you would please not get up. What did I just say? Making me repeat myself a little scum. So what's the aim button now? It's the left pinky, right? Oh no! Oh shit! Alright. Move towards him. There you go. That's one. All right, that's one. No, no, run, run! <laughs> oh God! Oh! <laughs> All right, they're gone. Whoa! That's why. That's why they're scary. Those little s sons of bitches. They can just. We got Juliet Rune. Is it time to hear his sexy voice? They can just blow you out of this world. You can you can damage them all you want. You know, you get one HP. They just get up, go... Hum, hum, Another statuette. And I'll be the third one, I assume. <laughs> we got, I got Chuck. Yeah, Chakrams are really going to come in handy for them. A little 2D, but you know they'll they'll work. I love these from the Ranger, uh, Ranger class in Final Fantasy games. Can you move? Yes, Pinky, work with me, Pinky. Ah. Oh. So I don't think I'm missing anything, am I? Do I have the Uliot rune? Is what I want to know. And finally. Oh, lovely. I forgot there are little bitches here. Don't move. Slightly. Slightly. I do want to keep him in case I need healing of anything. So I just... I'll just not kill them for now. Bye. Bye. 
God, Joe, I hope there's no boss in this level I can't remember. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, fuck sneaky. <gasps> corpse. It's just a corpse, okay? Oh, it's the... Lying in a pool of cold blood is a dead soldier. He's a victim of an unseen battle. I mean, what else would kill him? All right, we got a better sword now, do we? Ram, Ram Dao. Ram Dao. No, Tulwar. That's right. It's a better sword. Can we get a torch? Oh, two Tulwars. We can do two dual Tulwar now. Florentine. No, don't... Can you use it? Equip. Thank you. No! So, this, that, and that. I think I got it. Okay, I can do it. Even backwards. Go on, kill him. Oh, the Guardian's that, that early? Shit, son. Do I want to finish him? Or Yeah, I don't want to be at the very minimum sanity. They take a lot, they return nothing, and... Die, please! As I mentioned already, uh, they... Draining Sanity, as much as I love the effects, I hate that it killed some of the best music from the era. Alright, was that enough? That's I think that was more than enough. As, as usual, I go over and beyond. Ah, oh, shit, son! Good thing, that was a good place to end it. Don't let them, don't let them... I've got to kill the guardian before it kills me. Don't let it jump on you. Because they will suck my spine out. Oh, kick him. So they're not real even, huh? I don't know what's real anymore. Okay, a little better. Another dead man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Oh. We don't know, Kareem. Maybe he came to plunder it. We'll never know. Wait, how do you... Can you enchant... A large blade. That's that's for Ramdao. Okay, that's for Ramdao. You can, you can enchant them already, right? Right? Spell list, enchant... I have recovered two, all right. So recover is, but I can't, I don't have the runes. Narakat and Santac. Narakat and Sang. Okay, we'll get them. For now, what we can do is. Oh, I don't even have Uliot. Never mind, just keep going. Goodbye, music. It was nice having you there. I want a little sanity back, thank you. Just a dash. But not not the rest. Alright, you got me. What rune? Oh, because I need to enter there, yeah. Oh no, it turned off my TV. That's a pretty neat effect. It looks like really like a CRT being turned off. Here we go. That's that's the big bastard, the Chaturga horror. One more time. Come on, come on. Oh shit, that was close. Woo! No recover spell yet, so that could have been disastrous. And I still forget to, to uh, save. Alright, low health, so we're gonna go for a heal. We have five, right? Health, okay.
there's always going to be a time when that's going to get me. <laughs> and this was one of those times. Uh, let's do one more, just in case. That was a pretty neat sanity effect there. Maybe one more. Don't be cheap with the heals here. I will get heal soon, but just because uh, there's a that was a Chaturga horror, it takes extra punishment and deals extra damage. So we got the Codex. Anything else? Yeah, nothing else here yet. This is gonna be useful in the future. Oh shit! Those guys. I wish I knew you were gonna be there. Otherwise, no, I would have saved already. We're just one of them, huh? Let's do a save now. The GameCube was really good for its time. Like, more than good, it was fucking phenomenal. Stay down, please. Alright. Uh, new spell. Wait, do we have the rune for... We don't have the Uliot rune yet. Okay. We do have Recover now, which I'm gonna... Which I'm gonna instantly put down to... Spell this. Recover, assign, three point Chaturga up. There you go, instantly heal. Oh no, that's not how we went about it. I think the way we went about it was um, body, assign, left, recover. There you go. And not up. There you go. Now we can heal. Legit. This is where Pius was in the first chapter. This is where we, where he put the cubes in. We're gonna do something a little different now. Something a lot different. We're gonna kill a shit ton of zombies. Ram Dao, there you go. This is just one hit, most of them. Down, boy. Oh. So if you don't take their heads off, even Ram Dao doesn't help, huh? Just just legs and, and the pelvis. That's all that's left. But I guess that's enough. Anyone else? No? They're, oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, after all, yes. Woo! Your sanity goes down when you see them, but it's them glowing green from their eyes, you know? It's like a dance. Like a dance of the dead. It's time for the big motherfucker, huh? No, Uliot zombies. Sing now, asshole. Give me a hum. Give me a hum a hum a hum a hum a. Choppity chop.
better move away a little. Is it time for the big asshole? Oh, it's just a bigger zombie. Okay, I thought it was going to be a horror for some reason. A charge! Oh shit, there's little assholes as well. We gotta mix it up with your assholes. Oh no, that's uh, that's that's a guardian. That's two guardians. I did not calculate this well. That's what we need the most. Nice. That was that was badass. I know I did it, but it was badass. Time to heal, though. No, don't enchant anything. One more time. That's it. Okay, so we got to ram down. That was the that was the purpose of this room, I assume. Back to low sanity music. What more like low sanity cacophony? You're losing your shit, bro. Slowly but surely, you are losing your shit. That's what the charts say, and charts never lie. So we do need a new spell, Ulia. Project item. Okay. New spell. What's this? What's? How does this go? Uh, Nerkat Santek. So, Ulia. Nerkat. I don't have Nerkat. Oh, I do. Wait. Yeah. Absorb. Self. Right, so we have all the forms now. Since I'm Uliath, Uliath, red, green, blue. Red. He's better versus red. And what's better for Uliath zombies? Green, which we don't have yet. All right? It's me doing math for the game in my head. So, spell list enchant cost Uliath on Randa. Isn't that like the best casting voice? And then use it. Locked. And I think you gotta do it third time. It's it's the sanity effect. Green, blue, red, green. So green is better. Okay. Not really strong against them, right? Blue. Oh, blue is better than red. Yeah, okay, so this is their kryptonite. That's pretty lucky to go in there. I mean, the developers made it that way. To put you the zombies that are weak to the weapon. Just to show off the effect of enchantment. For the player to learn, you know. That's how you do it, baby. You gotta enchant. If you want to beat the game. So we have nothing. I think, yeah, the first time here it's pretty easy. Not much to see, most of it's collapsed. First time, second time really, but yeah. I do want to kill those little bastards, so here we go. Is there more? No. Okay, we need this. For the super special thing near the end. Is that it? Nothing else? Then I must be missing something. Lower, lower. I went out there. I was there. I came from there. I've been there. Been there as well, right? Yeah. So I must be missing something somewhere.
Where am I now? There, okay. So definitely nothing there. Oh, you can climb over the rubble. There you go. Horror time. Alright, since you want to play it that way, boy. I will need... Well, let's say a sign blue to right. There you go. Okay, don't let him do that again. Is it equipped? I'll throw it at his heads. Maybe I should have... Oh, this is still enchant. Yeah, we can use that. Down, boy. I'm not even gonna finish him. That's how cocky I am. That's how cocky we're gonna be. Just let him right there on the floor. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Red, green. We don't have any green, so... Shit, shit, shit. Is this real or am I tripping balls? I can't move. Yeah, I can't do anything. I think I think it's a sanity effect. Frozen, yep. You never know. <laughs> it's not supposed to be there. I'm like, there, there were no enemies there. Beckoning to be used. So we use the book on it. With the power of Mantarok, I've set thee free. Oh shit. Maybe I do need the sanity. Yeah, I do need the sanity there. Was that horror still alive? There was a new Twitch update in the middle of the stream. Sure. Things like that do happen. I killed all the... Well, I did not, actually. I could do this. Pretty cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at backtracking at its best. Charge. There's going to be a lot of zombies, and they will drain health from me as well. I'm going to go against that. I'm gonna use the nether creatures to heal myself. Yeah, <laughs> God help us all, yeah. Well, obviously the servers are back to normal. It's not doing the thing anymore that it did at the start, so yay. Alright, I need to be transported, little guys. Touch me. I wanna feel your body. Touch me. Touch me now. Uh, we need the little green passage. Yeah, that was so lucky. I want all the sanity. Whoop. It just fixes the perspective, everything. I am now sane, Karim. I am back to my old self. No more talking to myself and just slowly and politely step away from the alien creature, transporting you to another dimension. That's what the doctor said. He always said, look, Kareem, if you get, you come across little ants with two legs that transport you to another weird dimension, always go slow around them. No, they really learn from the from the book, from the past experiences. Showcases the cum cumulative no knowledge, cum cumulative knowledge.
All right, I'm all sane now. Let me fight. Let me fight on the side of the good. It is time to die, children. And then finish them all, or at least, you know, whoever you can. They're all Mantorog zombies? You would expect worse? Pretty sure it's gonna send worse guys after me later. Alright, it's sending worse guys, as suspected. No, kill the big blue exploding guys first. Gee, priorities, dude. let him live all right good he's not gonna go under that's all I want under the weather that is oh no they have a guardian oh shit shit shit, shit. that's not good that's never good never leave a guardian alive Should be a horror there, yep. Red, green, blue. I have no green, so... Woo! Alright, it's time, big boy. Let's dance. Alright, he's gotta pass through that shit. Woo! Come here. Oh, it still didn't hit him. I think it's just gonna cost me my m magical energy. No, no, don't examine, equip. Down, boy. Making old Kareem crazy. No dice. I am the arbiter of light. Or some such bullshit. Aha! There's nothing to go on here, right? The, that part of the temple still hasn't been made. Yeah, this will be later. There's gonna be a passage here. In a couple centuries. Strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Alright, the chapter 4 done, right? Bleh. We will be together forever. Together forever. What what happened to you? Things change my I've been dead for a while, you know. But even though my body is ravaged, I await you. Who did this to you? You were gone so long. I yeah, how long has he how long has he be, been gone? She had me dragged from my bed, and in cruel revenge, lensed with knives. Ugh. As the last blades were drawn across my body, and my blood pooled upon the floor, she cursed that I would only be with another in death. Ugh. So much for thinking only of me. <laughs> I should never have left. I have seen my folly, and have already paid dearly. It's kind of unfair still, even though she's... So much more what she's saying makes sense. I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find, and it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? 
Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. You really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. It's very convenient for her. <laughs> you will also become something more. Just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. There she said it. The things I do for love. Couldn't you have killed him a little more... With a little more dignity? <laughs> And that's his, that's his uh, Eternal Darkness Gathering photo. Everybody else has something dramatic. He's like in the middle of a death kiss. To be continued, the battle has been won, but the war against the darkness is far from over. The war against the darkness rages on. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Redemption. <laughs> Alright, she's starting, she's starting to trip balls. Because she's losing sanity from all the shit she's reading there. For now... For now, I gotta make a very quick, a very short break. Get more water, go to the bathroom, etc. Be back in like three minutes maybe with more Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Don't go anywhere. I'm back, I'm back, love. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. Third playthrough, Uliot's run. That's all the info we need to continue. Let's get into it. So, uh, chapter five. Let's do one more chapter. We can do this tonight. I think five chapters. First five chapters seems to be the limit for, uh, for one episode so far. Though if I did three runs back to back, I'm pretty sure they would go faster and faster just running for the items. So what what new power did we get? Dresser key. We need Oh yeah, the phone. Who is it? Hello? This isn't really happening. Let's go back to the second floor. Still looks good. So was there anything else here? No dresser. This one's... Ooh. Hello, beautiful. Too dark. You can't. You can't just leave the door open. Is there Arkley Mountains? Kind of looks like Arkley Mountains. We need this, right? No. Oh shit! I didn't want to touch it. Jesus Christ. If there were, this was a no damage run, that would be <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I think it's like enchanted and open the dresser, right? So it's showing what? What is that? Zelta? Who's no that's Uliot, right? Yeah, that's Uliot. So Uliot enchant key. Cause if you try to use the key on itself. Yeah. Or no, actually, that's gonna... We need reveal for that, that's right. So what, what what new shit did I get? I gotta remember how to get to the next chapter. Spell list, enchant, recover. Maybe somewhere on the floor down there. We got a chapter page here, right? So the next one... The 
the fact that it's invisible shouldn't keep us from doing it, right? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Uliath and um, Gladius. That's right. Enchant blue Gladius. Sexy voice. Hi, Red. Arabian spice jar. The lurking horror. Huh? The future is yours. The light in the age of darkness has been extinguished. The pillar of flesh has been constructed. The master of chaos, the keeper of the ancients, is long dead. The planets will be in alignment soon. All is prepared for your arrival. I will begin the final incantation that will bring you into our world within days the next millennium will truly usher in a new age your guardians now prepare the gate the final the final battle site <laughs> all right here we go the lurking horror i will not argue that i was shocked by the sudden mention of one of my ancestors the distinguished Dr. Maximilian Royvas. It chilled me to my bones. Where had this ancient book come from? How had my ancestor stumbled upon it? I feverishly began to read... And where the hell was I? ...eager to learn his story. It seems that Maximilian had inherited his father's mansion, just as I had. Alone since the death of his wife, and since his children had their own adult lives, he explored the house to discover his family roots. Oh, lovely atmosphere. It has been two weeks since the death of my father, and it has finally come to me to look over the mansion. Hi, Raziel. I am truly alone and forced to start a new life here in Rhode Island. I intend to make the mansion mine and live in it as my forefathers have to continue the family tradition. The mansion has its secrets, I'm sure. And in my time here, I have to make them mine. Signed, Raziel the Wraith. All right. We gotta get Max where he needs to go. So what do I want? I don't want the uh, ammo yet. I got the medical journal, that's right. So I can, I can, yeah, the section. Let's keep an eye on that. Autopsy. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Trapper. Bontif, Bontif. So we need Uliot Bontif, Uliot Horror, and Uliot Guardian. Those three. Unless there's something else I'm missing. Fuel lamps everywhere. Electricity hasn't been invented yet. Wonderful. Servant. Interior or outhouse. <laughs> In other words, toilet. Come, Max. Servant's quarters securely locked. bright colors it's so weird in this game but then again you know 
it has a lot of bright palettes for a horror game. I like how they mix it up. It's not just one thing all the time. Every location has its own, you know, life and history. That's the clock that's in that in the present is downstairs. Yeah. Letter. Blah, 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 blah. All right, Aaron Roivas, that's his father. So he knew that he was in possession of uh, the tome. <laughs> like a working man does. You're blocking my way. Flintlock pistol ammo. Another state of the art indoor outhouse. So he's already like losing his mind, knowing that something's wrong with the mansion. He's also probably grief stricken by losing his dad as well. Even though you know it's the times where they didn't, sh you know, they were all manly men back then. You know that's not good. Or so they say. What do I know? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Another letter. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. So can't go to the basement yet, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we will get reveal invisible in this chapter. <clears throat> This is also on a different spot in uh, in the present. Tells us there is door there. No library yet. Looks wow! It looks um, like a beautiful place to read with a cup of tea in the evening. It's the little things in life. Most certainly. Another codex, yes. Am I gonna get a torch though? That's what I forgot with this guy. Pump handle. Scrub servant, scrub. Cozy fireplace. Gonna need a lot of them bullets. His, so he's got excellent sanity, pretty good health, very low agility, and pretty low um, <clears throat> magic power. It's a honky-tonk piano. They didn't have the grand piano yet. Or is that even a piano? Or or is it a one of those... Um, Fireplaces, no, definitely piano. When darkness spreads its wings before my master Uliot's greatest foe, the path to truth will be opened. So, greatest foe, well, it's gotta be Chaturga if it's not, oh no, over here. Yeah, oh, I meant Zelatat, yeah. What does the map say? So far, that's everything, yeah. Nothing left unchecked, except for the servant's room, which is expected. Reveal invisible. Saber. All the things I'll need. What about a light, though? It would really help old Max if he had some light, you know? Can't remember if he ever gets light. That's not good.
a letter. Ruins of Enga, that's right. Tells us a lot about what happened to his dad. And now, shit starts to flow. So we got... Who, who's good, the enemy gonna be? Just ignore them. Pretty sure you can ignore most of them. Better take the pistol than, than anything else, really. What is it called? Uh, it's called Akimbo style, that's right. Oh shit, the servants are trying to kill me. Oh, he can, he can kill the servant too, nice. Good to know. Yeah, car block each other. Where is it? Where is the little fucker? Oh shit. Alright, that's the big fucker. Long climb. Fuck yeah. I got an autopsy, the fucker. There we go, reveal invisible. Uh, what was that? Redgumor Chiturga. No. Something Redgumor. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Narakath Redgumor. Okay, so do the same with Uliot. I can't remember if this is necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright. Attempt autopsy, that's what we need. Don't forget the guardian though, I just let one of them... Not the guard. yeah, the guard. Are they the guardians? No, the guardians are other things, these are called different. Not the horror that's lying there, but the little thing that died. And then you can kill it if you want to, if you really want. Pulsy sanity. No, you don't want to. You do want to heal though. Where's the other servant that wants to kill me? Oof. There it is. Attempt autopsy. Attempt. Alright, there we go. That's the one I wanted. So we can kind of, we can kind of, we can read from it now. We got what, Uliot Horror? Although the creature has no eyes, it is far from blind. The Horror's latent energy causes an electrical discharge if it comes close. How does it... Eyes? Rot their eyes. Their starings. Yeah, I know he will read. But not for the ones he just autopsy. Those come after his chapter. Bone Thief, that's what they're called. Uliot Bone Thief. Creature wears the skin of people to protect itself. Severing its neck kills the creature instantly. Alright. Can I kill it for extra sanity? Nope. Never mind. 
who needs sanity? <gasps> That's... Wow, sometimes it's just like the image you don't expect that scares it. <laughs> That's the scary part. Look, I'm on the ceiling of the mansion. Whoever thought of this was a genius, really. I don't know if it was Dennis Dyack or one of his colleagues, but man. Some pretty good shit. Oh, yes it is, big boy. It's happening, all right. So this isn't the one where I protect the servants, right? So since it's blue... Do I need to use blue then? Which runes do I have? Yeah, I don't have the Zeltat rune yet. Maybe someone's carrying it. Could I be... Shit. Let's not go near them. So the rune is not here. What if I just do it with blue? I think it should be green. Red, green, blue. Yeah. It should be green before blue. So Zeltat. But you know what? Try it. Reveal invisible. Uh, spell list. Reveal invisible. Cast blue. No, it's supposed to be green. I knew it. So I need to find that room. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Did I miss something upstairs? Like one of the servants going apeshit? Whoa, they look pretty skeletal. Even the babies look a little skeletal. So it's not here, huh? Oh no, what's going on? The ceiling again. They really like that ceiling animation, do you? Because it can work in almost any room, huh? Got nothing there. So it's gotta be somewhere downstairs where I need to find a room. Possibly inside an enemy. I totally forgot where I find it. Maybe at the end of the hallway you use one of these and it will like uncovers a room. Oh, there it is. I see something on the side. How did I miss that? Shit. <laughs> that finisher was good. Alright, we got an envelope that says... Red. Well, wait. Did I do it right? Letter addressed to one of... Okay, okay, okay. Basement key, that's what I need. But where's the rune, though? Still doesn't give me the Zelotat rune. He's looking at some pictures with purpose. How about it, Toots? Where's the where's the where's the room? I can't seem to remember where that room could be. Oh shit, there we go. The image has changed because sanity is low. It's like now like this. Like strewn nipples. Drying in the hot wind. Hot lava wind. Dementedly surreal land. Flayed skins flapping in an acidic breeze. That's too many details for just a static image, Max. Shit. Oh, this is supposed to happen. That's how you get to Rome. That's right. That's right. In the black and white world. I did not reload my gun, did I? Not a wise man. Is 
It refilled my sanity though, so... Don't let him hit you. Oh! Fuck yeah! There we go. That's what I need. We're back to our true selves. Oh shit! <laughs> That's a good one. Is it really happening? And a close up. That's a good one. I always like love that one. Oh, am I locked? No, I'm not. What did you say, love? Why? For the noise? I shall forgive you. I'm having loads of fun, so it's okay. Yeah. I shall be merciful on this of all days. Someone rusted. Okay, I need to do what? Reveal invisible with Zelata. Oh, we can refill sanity now too, that's right. I'm a little jealous for of people who can eat right now. <laughs> no no, it's okay, that's okay, I'll eat soon enough. No no, thank you, love. I know you I know you will. No, I don't want any bites. I was just kidding. I was only kidding, honey. No, not that. Uh, green head. Hey, it's for a good cause, too. Reloaded. I got the saber ready. Here we go. Char oh, yeah. Charge! No one said there are zombies in the basement. Down, boy. How? Like oh, has he not seen an Ulia zombie yet? I could I could have missed that completely. Don't let him get up. And the way he kicks them. All right, I didn't. I didn't realize. I thought I did not miss Ulia zombie. There he is, Ulia zombie. I, I could have missed him because I saw Mantarok zombie there. Yeah, that's why I totally. That's the only Mantarok thing that's left, the zombies. Which means... Stop interrupting Raziel. <laughs> All that's left is Uliad Guardian. I am a little crazy here. Another spell, damage field. We don't have enough for it, but, you know, we will soon. Bankarok... Flintlock pistol ammo. Need a handle? Oh! <laughs> bon appetit, love. I don't know how this works. Like, it, you just... It's, I guess it's supposed to be like a trick. You'd think you'd get water, but you're actually emptying the well, but who the fuck knows? It's going pretty fast, actually. I'm already getting to Enga, so that's half the game down in one go, I think. Oh, yeah. Foreshadowing. Well, you, at least, yeah, it's this one is scripted, I think. I, I think it happens anyway, but I'm not sure if it happens if you have low stamina. Damage field, there you go. No, I mean, the craziness is Yeah, well, I mean, in this, I think it was just taunting him this time, telling him his future. Like, ha ha ha, you puny mortal. Oh, that's so cool. 
Yeah. So, new spell. Spell. I want the damage field. Now, it's gonna be Uliot. We need... We need... Zelata damage field. No, not cast. Assign Zelata to... Down or Y? I'm gonna say Y. The second exit will be built later. It really looks... It looks better than last time, doesn't it? Even though, you know... There's no point in forcing widescreen where widescreen don't belong, you know? <laughs> it looks even better on the... It looks better even on the TV. So, on the stream, I can imagine. Because I can see by the letters, you know, when reading something. Before, the letters were, were all having a tiny stroke because uh, of the half resolution plus it's such a pity to waste all the great frame rate on like half it for what reason so it's a little less blurry and it still looks amazing look at that all right we gotta we gotta autopsy the guardian okay actually he's gonna autopsy the guardian automatically that's right there it is look at it Teleportation. I gotta shoot it before it shoots me. Don't protect yourself, you little fucker. It's charge time. Look, his eyes tell you everything. It's like, ah, oh, shit. What did I? What did you do to yourself again, Max? Yep. He's doing the same thing. Oh, I'm out of stamina, am I? I'll just go far away. He'll kill himself eventually. Your protection, huh? Can I break his protection? Wait, damage field. What does damage field do? It just makes a damage field, right? Check. Within the confines, nothing may enter till it's dispelled. That's right. And they can dispel it, I think. But I can enchant my... That's right, I got the... Ah, fuck yeah, I forgot. I got the Zelta enchantment. So that goes to Y. And damage field can go to down for now. As in double down on what I'm doing. There you go. That's how you do it, that's right. Do I have to wait for it to dispel? Let's do another one. Yeah. Got him. Teleport you little bitch. Why can he cast spells while moving? That's that's cheating. What about enchanted pistol? Uh, 
That's okay, I can take more. Is he recharging his shield constantly? Stop that. At least I know the runes which cause damage <laughs> to move on time. Alright, just before he shielded again. Die, bastard. He's dead. He's dead. We did it. Nice. <clears throat> Perfect timing, too. You can see through his curls. The accursed beast was dead, but not without its toll. Damn it, Sabi. That was but one, and there was an entire city of them. Souls and fevered thoughts, reeking of fetch by decay, thinking me mad with delirium. <laughs> Even the kid is sad. Uh... Cast away their hopes of salvation by locking me in this damned asylum. May the Did she get her dinner? Rise! I am now lost to your cause. The darkness comes, it will damn us all. What a sad ending. Probably the saddest in the entire game. The Jefferson and Coombe Sanatorium in Rhode Island. You know how they were the sanatoriums of the 19th and early 20th century? Just like a breeze to be in. Who? Anthony. Yeah. No, she was. She just woke up. She was like oblivious until this point. Two forty-seven. All right. Yeah. So wow, it's the the timers are at least correct <laughs> with all the with the intro and everything. Well, that was that was the first. That was the start of the third run of the Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. Da, 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 da. Tomorrow we're doing more Couch Wednesday, uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. So like I said, sorry, love. Or the, <laughs> no, um, we'll be doing this on Tuesdays now, um, unless you know, unless, unless for some reason uh, Joe can't make it to a Resident Evil Six stream. That for Mondays and Thursdays, then we'll just inject this. But it'll take one more, maybe two episodes to finish it. I'll say two just to be safe, because my memory is a little foggy. <clears throat> with, uh, you know, just breezing through it. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for all the all the action there, guys. Cine Stubborn for the raid. I just remembered Cine Stubborn movies, Bollywood movies, and actually movies. <laughs> uh, it was actually Bollywood movies. Um, Wesky, thanks for the raid, wherever you may be, sexy Wesky. Zombie Chow for the resub, Sash for the reshub, reshub as well. Everyone uh, for supporting the stream. Uh, that we got a special mention today for Joe, to Joe, for Joe. 
of Joe. <laughs> for uh, by, Joe. by Joe, yeah, by Joe. Well, he's not mentioning himself for helping around with the chat. So again, thanks everyone. Who are we raiding? Let's raid. Let's raid Michelle Sui. Here we go. Finally, he's streaming when I'm streaming. Is it working? Yeah, it's about to. It's about to work. So we're raiding Michelle Sui. Check him out. He does. Um, well, I'm not sure, zombie. Not really. Today it was. Today it was still weird, and you saw that at the start. I had those notifications. I'm 50/50 if it's coming from Twitch or me, but yeah, it's not great. Uh, that's why I made a joke earlier at the start. Well, I tried to play Texas Chainsaw with uh, with uh, Joseph this morning, and the guy was right here, and I hit him with a chainsaw, and nothing happened. He just ran off, and my chainsaw stalled like I hit a wall. And I wasn't annoyed by a game in a long time like that, but I think it's uh, it's just the network. It's not the game, so yeah. So check out Michelle Sweet. He does... Uh, very good, no damage, very good, amazing, no damage, no save runs of classic uh, survival horror games, Resident Evil. Um, am I am I in there? Yeah, all right. Resident Evil, Silent Hill, uh, Sir, Tormented Souls, I saw the game from him, we're going to stream that as well. Um, yeah, that's, I got nothing else to add, enjoy your day, and I'll see you tomorrow in a new one. Thank you, why? Well, Bye. shut up. You don't know if it's going to be like that forever. Shh. Shh. It takes a few days. It doesn't take forever, okay? They can't do that, because if they do that, Molotovs will fly. <laughs> but that's enough. Till next time, everyone. Bye-bye.